Assalamu alaikum this is Inisha Shrefa and I am on behalf of my team our team name is group 1 from section E electronics lab course code CAC 124 semester of 182 of United International University today we are going to demonstrate our project our project is an automatic garbage management system application of our project Nowadays technology has become advanced, so everything should have the touch of technology. If we have a robot which cleans garbage automatically and stores it in desired place, it would have been much easier for us. Our project is also concerned about cleaning garbage which can collect garbage automatically from a desired station and store it in an another desired station by following a line. Features of our project Number 1. Follows a line. Number 2. Based on distance and angle, it detects from where to take garbage and where to not. Number 3. Picks up garbage container and keeps garbage within it. Number 4. Releases the load in a particular garbage station. Components we've used. Number 1. 4 wheeler set. Number 2, 2 IR modules. Number 3, 1 sonar AC ASR04. Number 4, jumper wires. Number 5, Arduino Mega 2560. Number 6, 5 servo motors. Number 7, L298N motor driver. Number 8, LiPo battery 11.1 volt. Number 9, breadboard. Number 10, barrel jack. Number 11, LiPo connector. Number 12, 4 reel of black tape Number 13 A big white paper Number 14 Other tools such as uh, soldering iron, white adhesive glue, glue gun, plastic bottles, cutouts, etc. Assalamu alaikum, this is Jovaraj Nufel and now I will show you all the program we have done in this robot. Here you can see that I have used servo.h header file for programming our servo motors I have set all the pin numbers those are for pin numbers and then um, I have some variables as well um, and we have some objects for servo motors to program servo motors we need to declare objects as well here in the void setup function we have set up all the input and output pins and then I have created some separate functions for, for all kind of functionalities for example if I want to accelerate my car forward I have a separate function for this just call it and you can take it to forward here at the loop function everything is happening you can see the whole code I have used flag variables to set the stages for example, if I say flag is equal to 0, then it will follow line. If I say flag is equal to 1, then it will sense the environment. If I say flag is equal to 3, then it will release the load. And if I say flag is equal to 2, then it will pick up things. Let me show you all the programs separately. This is for following line this is for sensing the environment and this is for load releasing and this is for picking up things and all the functions are here I have used the motor drivers enable um, option uh, for controlling our speed so that was the whole code here we can see the whole diagram here we have an Arduino Mega a motor driver, 4 DC motors connected with motor driver and 5 servo motors, 1 sonar sensor, 2 IR modules, 1 11.1 volt battery. All the 5 volt connections are coming from the power pin of Arduino and the ground also coming from the Arduino. An additional power supply is required for motor driver and it is directly connect, coming from the battery and you know the rest 
we need to attach the trig pin and echo pin of sonar with IO pins and IR modules output pins are also connected to the IO pin. In servo motors we have an orange pin which is connected to the IO pin. Our motor driver can only operate two motors so I have parallel motors here and here to run four motors in a single motor driver. Budget of our project. In our project, we needed approximately 5,000 taka. The first 4,300 taka was for electrical components and the rest are for the other stuffs. Challenges. The main challenge was we have started all from scratch. We didn't have much knowledge about Arduino, so we had to learn it with patience. We have also observed that sometimes it can really be hard to make a relation between hardware and software. There appears always bug and you need to solve it again and again. It took 90 plus hours or maybe more than that to complete the project. This week we had some mechanical issues, the elbow joint servo wasn't working properly and there is a term called inertia which is not fine with this elbow joint servo. We need to tap the servo to get it up. Another problem we faced, we have a 3 cell based LiPo battery. We have observed that one of its cells is weak. So DC motors are not getting enough power and not measuring accurately. We couldn't solve the mechanical problem of battery and servo due to lack of time. As you can see that our DC motors are not placing accurately, so we need to adjust the place of dustbin. And now we need to tap it because this elbow joint does not work properly. Anyway, our car is following line successfully, but But we need to tap it to get it forward. This should have turned 90 degree but couldn't. Future plan. Development should never stop. We don't want to stop here and hope to develop it in near future. As we are all beginners in robotics, our robot is not perfect. It is still struggling with sensing things and need more advanced algorithms. We would like to add more advanced sensors, maybe a camera and an advanced flexible hand. Not only in hardware, but also we want to upgrade the algorithm as much as possible. Maybe in future, our robot won't need any line to follow. So dream should be bigger and we are looking forward.